Di tangan. En zet. We staan. Spaar de voor de ruzie de honden. Zeg. Again, this is your coffee. So if you want to do it nice and gentle, you can do it nice and gentle. As long as you put it up here. If you want to take the arm, you can. Set. And through. Okay. Just to make it into. Washing if you really want to. But for the sake of this practice, take here. Strike the ribs you're going under, and then cut it back. What I'm doing with that backwards cut, uh, just come around, uh, 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 walk, 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 walk. as we go to here, what I'm actually doing is I'm entering, what I'm going to try to do is get this hand to touch this foot. Yeah, and then cut it up. Okay, when you're on the receiving end of things, if you don't mind, you can remember it. Go for it there. As if Danny comes on the hair, if you don't do a big flip, if Danny cuts and points down towards the floor, practice your forward, you can it from that, okay? And you're talking now, you've got it. Right, we're going to get a little bit of Kazushi back for a minute. Um, what we're going to do is. Uh, that one, yeah? He's going to get out here. So from here, there's not very much you think you've got. You've got a punch coming in, head you know, glass ball, fist ball, what, what we do, hand up in the middle first. The, do you like the smell of my hand? And do not. It's going to be the, right? I'm on this posture. I'm going to step myself back. The, that's a very good posture. He's still hanging on here, that's, that's fine. But what we want to do is execute this. From a static posture, Hard to do because in a static situation, this is not going to go anywhere. It's going to bring his head towards. Stepping back, very little light. If someone's committed fully, we get it all of this. That's what we're going for. That side. Yeah. So what we're going to try with this is as he comes in. Uh, but, just to exercise and break the Kazushi now, coming towards, stepping back. You've got all sorts of uh, things you can do here. But they all involve a third, a third degree of okay. Yeah? So what I want us to do is not get in a situation where like, someone comes up to you and gets all of you and you go, oh crap now what I'm going to do. Yeah? You got all sorts. Now what I want to do is get this hand going in here first. And then cutting down here, yeah. just break it in the mouth. So this is what yeah? Toy around with it, see what you can come up with. Alright? I'm going to get somebody up in about five, ten minutes to show us something. Something you come up with. Please. You've seen this one before, as when people come with the shoulders. Yeah? So what's happening is, as he's coming in, I'm withdrawing. You can do it from static here, but I think you're all really good in that. And that is how I look in it. Yeah? It's how it looks. Physical. So what we're going to do now, as he's coming to take his shoulders, what I'm taking is here on the elbow. Yeah? Because naturally he's for the momentum. It's coming out. It's fine. This is Giwaza. You get it at the end of senior gradient. Okay? So static, it's quite quite a mode of but in breaking and turning. So what I want to do is, even if we have to do it at walking pace, notice the attacking him for the shoulders. I turn, the room I sense uh, Okay, so if I'm going from that corner here, I might rush at the shoulders. Yeah! Like that. A 
especially good if there's a door in the way. Yeah? Bam! Please exit the building. Use your own fault. So, look at the hands. What I try not to do in this situation is grip. So I grip there, he's going to be strong, he's probably going to throw me bigger than me. Yeah? So, as he comes, using your hands. Hands up, he's actually striking me. And I'm saying, no, you don't. Know, Phil, I'm going around the back to choke. Yeah? It's a simple one on your choke. Even Dan can agree from this point, this is not the ideal situation to be in. <laughs> yeah? Have a shave. Oh, yeah. <laughs> never, never go that with me. So, again, he's making an attack to me, I'm coming around the back. Yeah? You'll see it done like this also. I take his hand, I come around. Yeah? What this is actually a precursor to, as he's attacking me, is I'm getting that hand out of the way and come around and take this as a strangle. His hand out of the way, that is not pleasant, yeah? That is what I'm going for. Alright, um, so what, what I want to do, as he's coming for Kushi, he's coming around here, see how Kushi coming around, coming around, coming around, around the neck, go on now. Good, yeah, okay. What I'm going to do, because he's coming to it, yeah? I'm going to step back to it, makes it a little bit harder for him to get round. Apply some kill. Okay. Coming around here. Slowly, and I'll never try to put much the feet here. As he's coming for it, step back. As he's about to take, get out of the way. Yeah? Slip this direction. That leaves your hand perfect here for this. Thank you. Third principle. We've done it here, done it here, thank you. Here, what I don't do, I scalp step towards it. Keep it in your centre. Turn. This is if I'm trying to put it into his own face. That takes a lot of people quite quick. But not with this hand, is it? Coming around. Step back. Out. On the other side. Okay, it's important when we do thank you to look at three basic points. Here. First one, turn the hips. Two, back to all. That moves it, yeah? If I'm in a situation where we're here, and he's, he's still got a bit of fight in him, I'm not going to lock on him. He can quite easily, if I've not got this on the right, turn to face and strike him, yeah? So, I'd like you to do exactly the same this time. Lol. Yeah? That's, that's what's going to happen. He's going to, come, he's going to come at you this way. And as he does, all you do is turn your momentum up that way. Yeah? A determined strike, he's, he's not going to wait this another time. He's going to come around and try and hit this one. Getting going backwards. Once he's moving, following around, you can pretty much do this on my time. Oh, it's boring. So, as he's moving around, like you would with a bock end, make sure. Cut. The, that gets him in line. The, as we move in front, remember this. That. And down. That attempt is important. Very, very important because in an ideal world, you'll get the technique right first time every time, yeah? Here. He's moving back, cutting the foot off the back. That's keeping him away from grabbing your legs. Yeah? If I step in too close here, now we're onto something. Yeah? So, make sure with this, coming in, that's heavy, keep him moving. Pin, Pin. transfer. Okay? Sancho from Kubishimi. Go on. Thank you. Instead of moving in that way, not too much back. Okay? So look, oh, it's a nice little throw. Put it in. Look. Get the side on to get it moving. 
and extend the emote in that direction. What it, what it does when we go up like, is coming around here, not making a sound key up, moving back, and then making a senior you know, on Saturday. It's time for a bit more, a bit more into it. So last technique of the night, well, we might do some weapon with it, but last technique of the night, coming in, you know, moving back. Thank you, oops. Okay. So, dead basic, dead basic, dead basic. Here. At the side, this point now, we're going to back that way, but instead of moving our feet and stepping around him, as he moves, the, you've got to be careful this hand can come in at this point, yeah? So, make sure you execute this crisp wide. And, uh, back down. Right. Okay, for those of you not too confident in going in that manner, bring it around, thank you. Pull him back under, make sure we get a touch. That side, out, thank you, go back that way. Five minutes, okay, come on. Call the guest, go for it, come on, thank you. 